We continue now at the top of Daf Tazayin of Ebezer Maseches Moed Katan. This is Moed Katan, Daf 16b. The Gemara here continues, Af Divre Torah Beseser. So Rebbe Darshan, just like the thigh is something that is hidden, so too Divre Torah is something that should be hidden and should not be taught out in the marketplace. So the story continues, Yotzer Rebbe Chia, Vishana L'Shnei Bnei Yechav Bashuk. So Rebbe Chia went out and he taught two of the sons of his brothers out in the marketplace. L'Rav U'L'Rav Abarachana. Rav and Rav Abarachana. He taught them out in the marketplace against the uh, against the instruction of Rebbe. So Shama Rebbe. So Rebbe heard about it in Ikbit. So he was upset about it. So also Rebbe Chia L'Shazu Yele. So then Rebbe Chia came to see him. So Amar Le. So then uh, Rebbe said to Rebbe Chia. Iya mi korilach. He said, Iya, that's a nickname for Rabbi Chia. He said, Iya, who's calling you bachutz? Who's calling you outside? So Yada did not get milsa bedaita. So Rabbi Chia understood that Rabbi was upset at him. So Nag nezifusa ben avshe to yomen. So again, for 30 days, he was no hag. He conducted himself in nezifa. Again, you seem to see that nezifa is more than 30 days. Biyom to and then on the 30th day, Shalach he sent to him ta hadar. He said to him, Come and return. Shalach lay de lo lacy. And then he sent him that you should not return. And the Gemara says, May kara my suffer, love asof my suffer. What's going on over here? How come initially Rebbe says you can return, and then Rebbe says you can't return? What's going on? So the Gemara says, May kara suffer. No, originally he thought, Mixas hayom kekulo, that he served part of the 30th day. That should count like he did a full 30 days. Well, the vasof suffer, but at the end he thought, Lo amrin and mixas hayom kekulo. We don't say mixas hayom kekulo. You got to do the full 30 days. In any case, lasof asa. In any case, at the end, he did come. He didn't wait out that full 30th day. So Amar Lay, so he said to him, Am I Asis? So he said, what are you coming for? Amar Lay said to him, The Shalach li mar The master said I should come. So he said, Vashalchi lach delosesi. But then I tell you not to come afterwards. I changed my mind. So Amar Lay said to him, Zero isi vizel lo isi. He says, I saw that first message, but I never got that second message. So Kari Alea, so Rabbi said about him, you quoted the Pasuk, Biritzos Hashem, Darcha Ish Gam Oivov Yash Lemoso. It says, when a person uh, wants, uh, when, a, when HaKadosh Baruch Hu rather, uh, accepts the ways of a person, so even his enemies are going to end up making peace with him. Meaning in this case, HaKadosh Baruch Hu made it that, uh, that I would make peace with you that day early because that was HaKadosh Baruch Hu's will. So in any case, the Gemara says, My time of Marhachi. So he said to him, Rebbe said to Rebbe Chia, Why did the master do this? Why didn't you listen to me? Why did you teach out in the public? Amar Le, so he said to him, because the Pasuk says, Chachmos Bachutz Torona. You should, the wisdom you should sing outside. You should spread it outdoors. So Amar Le, so he said to him, Im karis lo shanis, vim shanis lo shilasht. If you read it once, you didn't review it. If you reviewed it, you didn't read it a third time. Vim shilash lo per shulach. And if you did read it three times, nobody explained to you what that Pasuk really means. Pasuk means Chachmos Bachutz Torona Kidurava. When the Pasuk says that the wisdom is going to scream to the outside, it means like Rava said. The Yomar Rava, because Rava said, Kala Osik Batora mi Bifnim, anybody who learns Torah inside in private, Toraso Machrezis Olavim Bachutz, the Torah will announce for him to the public. Everyone will find out about it. It doesn't mean you should actually teach in public. It means that the Torah is going to, to publicly declare on behalf of the person that this person is a learned individual. But the Gemara continues, Vachzib, but doesn't another Pasuk say, Lo Merosh Baseser Dibarti, I didn't speak in private. Again, indicating the Torah should be taught in public. And to that, the Gemara says, Ahu Biyom the Kala. That's talking about in the days of the Kala. Those were the big public shiurim that were said before the Yomim Tovim. Those are done in public, but in general, the teaching should not be done in public. And the Gemara continues, Rabbi Chia Hai Chamuka Yerei Chayech My Avidlo. What does Rabbi Chia do with the pasuk that compa- compares the words of Torah to the thigh, something that should be kept private? And that the Gemara says, Muki La Bitzdaka Over Gemilas Chasadim. He says that that pasuk is not talking about teaching Torah; it's talking about Stuka and Gemilas Chasadim. Those are things that should be done in private. In any case, the Gemara now finishes its question. Alma, don't you see from these stories, Nazifa did who Tlas Yomin that when it came to the Nazifa, their Nazifa in Eretz Yisrael, it was actually Tlas and Yomin. It was actually Actually, 30 days. And so the Gemara says, no proof from these stories. Nazifas Nasi Shani. It is different when you're talking about the Nazifa from a Nasi. This was talking about Rabbi Yehuda Nasi. So in such a situation, the, the Nazifa is going to be for 30 days. The Gemara continues, Nazifa didon kama Now, how much is our Nazifa? How much is our Nazifa in Bavel? How much is our admonition? 
And the Gemara says, Chad Yom, it's just one day. Ki Shmuel and Marukva, it's like the story with Shmuel and Marukva. Ki Hava Yasvi Garsi Shmaita, when they were sitting and learning, Hava Yosef Marukva Kami the Shmuel Berichuk Dalet Amos. So Marukva used to sit in front of Shmuel at a distance of four Amos. He used to show respect to Shmuel, because Shmuel was the greater Torah scholar. The Ki Hava Yasvi Bedina, but when they were sitting in judgment, Hava Yosef Shmuel Kami the Marukva Berichuk Dalet Amos. So then Shmuel would sit in front of Marukva at a distance of four Amos, because Marukva had the position of the chief judge. And they used to carve out a little portion from Marukva into the ground, let him sit a little lower. That way he could hear the words of Shmuel even when he was sitting in judgment. So the Gemara says, Every single day, Marukva would actually accompany Shmuel to his house. He would accompany him as a way of respect. But Yom Machad Itri Bedine, one day he was very busy with his judgment, and it ended up that Shmuel was following Marukva. So Kimoto Lebesi, when he got to his house, Samar Lei said to him, Lo Naga Loch, Lishri Limar Betigre, have I not accompanied you enough? Can you permit me from my obligation? Shmuel was basically showing that I'm showing you a certain amount of respect over here. Now please let me go. So therefore the Gemara says, Yada the Nakan Milsa Bedaite. Marukva understood that Shmuel was upset about what had just occurred. So Noag Nazifusa bin Avshechad Yomas. So he conducted himself in a manner of Nazifa, in a manner of admonition for one day. So you see again in Bavel, the Nazifa is going to be one day. We'll take a look at Rashi over here. Marukva Ketal Midl Shmuel. Marukva was like a student to Shmuel. To Shmuel Gadol Betora Yosemi Marukva, because Shmuel was the greater Torah scholar than Marukva. Ki Yosem Bedina Misham the Marukva Haya Nasi. Now Marukva, he was the Nasi. He was like the the head of the Golis over there. He was the chief judge. So therefore, in that respect, Shmuel showed him respect. Chayki Leiduchte Man Michin Lo Mokum Kishi Yosha Bedin. They would lower an area, carve out in the ground a little area for him to sit. Ki Echi the Mishtamili Mili the Shmuel Rabbi Betora. That way, he'd be able to listen to the words of his Rebbe Shmuel in Torah. Itrin Marukva Bedina, then Marukva became busy in judgment, showing Mechashim Bedina, he was thinking, he didn't remember that he should be following Shmuel. And so then Shmuel was upset, Lo Nagalach, Kilomer Lo Sagilach, Dazil Nabasrach, is it not enough that I followed you? Literally, Mar Betigre, Havli Rishusul Mehadir, he tells Marukva, give me permission to return. Yada Marukva, that's when Marukva knew, the Naka Shmuel Bedaiti Misham Dazil Basri, that Shmuel was upset that Shmuel had followed him. And therefore, again, he conducted himself in Nazifa for one day. And the Gemara continues with another story. Hayita saw there was a woman to have a Siyasa Bishivila, have his Pashta Karav, a Kamanifa Chushloi. She was sitting out in, on the road and she was spreading out her legs and she was sifting barley. And there was a certain Torah scholar who was passing by. She didn't tumble herself in front of him, meaning she didn't move her legs out of the way. She continued to, to sort of be in his way. So Amar, so he said, Look at what a chutzpah this woman has. So I saw the of Nachman. So then she came in front of Nachman and she wanted to know is she now excommunicated by this Torah scholar? Amar Loi said to her, Mishamat Shamta Mipume, did you hear anything about being ostracized from his mouth? Amar Loi, so she said to him, Lo, no, I didn't hear him say that. Amar Loi, so he said to her, Zili Nuhuge Nizifusa Chad Yoma Ben Afshach. Go and just conduct yourself in Nizifa for just one day. You don't have to assume that it's a Shamta, that it's a Nidoi, because he never said that explicitly. Zutra Bartovia have a Kapasak Sidra Kame de Rev Yehuda. So Zutra Bartovia, he was learning Psukim in front of Rev Yehuda. Kimotel Hai Psukka, when he came to the following Pasuk, Ve'ela Divrei David Achronim. It says, These are the last words of David Amelech. So Amar Lei, so he said to him, Achronim, Machlal, the Ikari Shonim. He says, if these are the last words of David HaMelech, sounds like they were some first words. Rishonim, my Ninu. So he asked him this question. He said, what were the Rishonim? What were the first words? So the Gemara says, Shasuk v'lo Amar Lei v'lo Midi. It says, Rav Yudah was quiet. He didn't answer anything. Hadar Amar Lei, so then he said it to him again. He repeated the question. Achronim, Echlal, Deikar Rishonim. The word Achronim sounds like they were Rishonim. Rishonim, I. What's the first words of David HaMelech? And so then Rav Yudah got upset. Amar Lei said to him, My daita, what are you thinking? Do you think somebody who doesn't know the explanation of this Pasuk is not a great man? You don't need to know the ex- explanation of this Pasuk to be a great man. So Yada the Nakan Milsa Bedaiti. So he understood again that Rav Yehuda had got upset. So Noag Nazifusa Benavshei Chad Yoma. So he conducted himself in Nazifa for one day. And the Gemara now says, Now that we got to this Pasuk, it's a good question. It says these are the last words of David. It implies there were some first words of David. What were the first words of David? And to that the Gemara says, David It refers to the song that David HaMelech sang, He sang this Shira on the day that Hashem saved him from his enemies and from Shaul. 
Amar lo HaKadosh Baruch Hu LeDavid. The Gemara now explains. HaKadosh Baruch Hu said to David HaMelech, David, Shira ata Omer al Mapaloso shal Shol. David, you're singing a song because of the downfall of Shol. Il Mole ata Shol v'hu David. If you had been Shol and he would be David, Ibadati kama David mi Then there would be many Davids that would be destroyed in front of Shol HaMelech. In other words, the point is, HaKadosh Baruch Hu told David HaMelech, Shol is actually uh, much greater than you are. You shouldn't be singing Shira about the downfall of David HaMelech. Rashi over here says, "Mechlal di ikar rishon of halol lo matzino shamar David divrei ela b'mikrazet the divrei lasha nevu." We don't find the language of nevu anywhere else. So what is the rishonim? What are the first? What's the first nevu of David Amelech? And then Hakadosh Baruch Hu tells David Amelech, "Ata shol sheno ledes b'mazolo," meaning if you would have been born in the mazol in the astrology of Shaul, v'hu David sheno led b'mazol shalcha, and if he was David, meaning if he was born in your mazol, so then he barati kama David shu tzadik mimcha, then many Davids would be destroyed in front of him, meaning he's a greater tzadik than you. It's just his mazol that he's Shaul, so to speak, and that you're David Amelech, but you shouldn't consider yourself greater than Shaul. The Gemara continues, "Hainu dechsev." That's the pasuk. That's what the pasuk means when it says she. Goyin le David asher shar Hashem al divrei kush ben Yamini. It says it was like a mistake of David Hamelch that he sang to Hashem because of what happened to Kush, which is a reference to Shaul. Vechi Kushimo was his name Kush. Valo Shaul Shimo, his name was really Shaul. Why is it calling him Kush? Ela makushi mishuna ba'oro, just like a kushi has different kind of skin. Af Shaul mishuna b'maisav. So too, the pasuk is alluding to the fact that Shaul had different kinds of actions. He was a great person. He conducted himself in a great manner. And the Gemara says kayotze b'davar atomer. There's a similar drasha that we make. And the following pasuk, al odo soisha hakushes hasher lokach, it talks about the fact in the pasuk Aaron and Miriam spoke that Moshe Rabbeinu took he married an isha kushis. So what does that mean? He didn't marry kushis; he married Zipporah. Elamah kushis meshuna baora means exactly the same thing. Just like a kushis has different kind of skin, af Zipporah meshuna b'masad, so too Zipporah has unique kinds of deeds in a good way. Kayotze b'davar atomer. The Gemara says similarly. We have another pasuk. It says vayishma eved melech hakushi. It says the, that he heard. It says the melech hakushi. V'chikushi shema was the yakushi. V'alot sidkia shema. We're talking here in this pasuk about sidkia. Ela makushi meshuna ba'ora. The same exact drasha. Just like a kushi has different skin. Av tzidkia meshuna b'maisav. So too tzidkia had great deeds. And kayotze b'davar atomer. There's also a similar drasha in the following pasuk. Halo kivnei kushiim atali yisrael. It says that klal yisrael is compared to the kushim. V'chikushiim shemon v'alo yisrael shemon. They're not kushim. They're klal yisrael. Ela makushi meshuna. Ba'oro, just like a kushi has different skin, Af Yisrael, Meshunin B'maseyen, Mikolo Umo, so to Klal Yisrael is different in their deeds from other nations. The Gemara continues, Amr Rabbi Shmuel Bar Nachmeni, Amr Rabbi Yonasan, Rabbi Shmuel Bar Nachmeni says in the name of Rabbi Yonasan, May Dechsev, what does the Pasuk mean when it says, Nu'um David ben Yishai, Unum Ha'gever, Hu Kam Ol. It says, David ben Yishai speaks, and it says, Hu Kam Ol. What does it mean, Hu Kam Ol? Nu'um David ben Yishai, Shehekim Ula Shel Teshuva. The Gemara says that David ben Yishai is the one that established the yoke of repentance. That's the reference over here of Hu Kam Ol. And the Pasuk continues again, this is the Shir of David HaMelech. It says, Amar Elokei Yisrael, Li Dibert Sur Yisrael, Moshel Ba'odam Tzadik, Moshel Yiras Elokim. It says, the God of Israel says, to me spoke the rock of Israel, the Moshel Ba'odam Tzadik, the ruler over man, and Moshel Yiras Elokim, the ruler, the fear of God. My comrade, what does that Pasuk mean to say? Amr Rabbi Avo, Rabbi Avo says, Hachi Kamar, here's what the Pasuk means. Amr Elokei Yisrael, Li Dibert Sur Yisrael, Ani Moshel Ba'odam. I, HaKadosh Baruch Hu, rule over man, but me, Moshe, be, but who rules over me? Tzadik, the righteous person, rules over HaKadosh Baruch Hu, so to speak. Sha'ani Gozer Gezeira means to say that I, HaKadosh Baruch Hu, make a decree, umevatl, and the Tzadik is able to be mevatl. And the Gemara continues, Eil Shmos HaGibor Masher LeDavid, Yoshev Besheves VeGomer. Pasuk here says these are the names of the mighty people who were who were associated with David Amelech. My comrade, what does this pasuk mean? Am Rabbi Avo, Rabbi Avo says, Hachi Kamer. Here's how you understand the pasuk. This is a drasha. The Eil Shmos Givurosa of Shel David. What it means is here are the names of the mighty actions of David HaMelech. Yoshe B'Sheves means, B'Sha'a Shaya Yoshe B'Yeshiva, when he would sit in Yeshiva and learn, Lo Haya Yoshe V'Agave Karim V'Kistos, he didn't sit on pillows and cushions, El Agave Kark, he sat on the earth. The Chalkama to have a Rabbi Ira Hayiri Kayim, and as long as his Rebbe Ira was was alive, Ira Hayiri, have a Masni Luhul Rabbanon Agave Karim V'Kistos. So he would teach the Rabbanon at that time, 
he would be sitting on the on the cushions. Kinoch nafshe, but when he died, so have a masni David the Rabban and have a Yossi v'gabi karka. Then David would teach the scholars, but he would teach them while he was sitting on the ground. So Amru le, so they said to him, le simara karim v'kistos. Can you sit upon the pillows and the cushions? Lo kavil ole, so he would not accept it. He didn't want to do that. Tach gemoni, what is that a reference to? Amar Rav, Rav says, Amar lo hakadosh baruch hu that hakadosh baruch hu says to David Amelech, Howel vishbalta atzmecha to hey kamoni. Since you lowered yourself, that's kamoni. You should be like me. Shani gozer gezera because I make decrees. The atom mevatlan, you're able to nullify them. Rosh Hashalishim, what is that a reference to? Te Rosh Lishloshes Avos. It means that you're going to be the head of the three Avos of the three forefathers. Hu Adino Hu Adseni, what's that a reference to? Kishaya Yoshev Osuk Betorah. That means that when he was sitting, David Amelech was sitting and learning Torah. Haya Ma'adin Atzmo Ketolas. He would make himself like a worm. He made himself very humble. Uvishasha Yotze Lamelchama. When he went out to war, Haya Maksha Atzmo Ke'etz. Then he would treat himself like wood. He would make himself hard like wood. What does the Pasuk mean? On, on 800 corpses in one shot, it means he would shoot an arrow and he would be able to hit 800 people in one shot. But he would groan over the 200. Because it says in the Pasuk, It says that one will be able to chase a thousand. So he said, I'm only able to get, get 800, not a thousand. He would cry over the 200 that he apparently was not uh, was not fit to be able to defeat. Yotz the Baskol Umra. So then a Baskol came out and said, Rak bidvar Urya Hachiti. It's only because of the sin of Urya Hachiti. It's only that sin that causes you that you're not at the level to be able to take down a thousand enemies. Am Rabbi Tanchum Raider of Echiyash Kfarako. Rabbi Tanchum, the son of Rabbi Echiyash Kfarako, says, Am Rabbi Yaakov Barach, Am Rabbi Simloi, in the name of Rabbi Yaakov Barach, in the name of Rabbi Simloi. The Amri law, some have the version, Am Rabbi Tanchum, Am Rabbi Huna, that Rabbi Tanchum said in the name of Rabbi Huna. The Amri law, Am Rabbi Huna Lechudei, and some people just have the version that it was Rabbi Huna that said it. And we'll take a look at a few Rashi's over here. Shehekim Ula Shel Teshuvah, it says, David Amalek established the yoke of Teshuvah. Shushav Techila, he did the first Teshuvah. Venasan Derech Lashav, he showed the path for those who do Teshuvah. Kedaminim Parakam and Davorazor, lo David Roy. David David should not have sinned with Bathsheba. He was not a kind of person on such a level. But the reason why he did it is so that if someone else would sin in the future, they would say, go look what David did. forgave him. So to you, you should also do Teshuva. said again that Tzadik rules over HaKadosh Baruch so to speak. Ira ha iri have a mass in the David Agav Karim Vikistus. So it says that Ira he would teach David on these cushions. The David have a mass in the Rabbanon Agav Karka. But David taught the Rabbanon on sitting on the ground. Rosh l'gimel avos shu ha'olech lefneim lolam haba. It says that David Amelch is going to walk in front of the avos in olam haba. Ma'adin atzmo kofiv atzmo yadav ragal biachar biyoshe barz. He sat hands and feet together in a humble manner when he learned Torah. Bidvar Uriah hachiti, and it was only because of the sin with Uriah, not lo masayim, that he wasn't able to defeat in one shot the other 200. We'll continue with this discussion in the next video. And Daf Yud Zayin Ahmed Aleph.